Today on Garden Fork, learn how to make a really cool cake outdoors in a Dutch oven. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Super heat wave, and I want to bake a cake. Oh so what no. do we do? Last week you baked one inside. Yeah, and then I heated up the house way too much. So heat wave's still going on. We're gonna bake a cake outside in a Dutch oven. All right? Cool. You look prepared today. Just like the Food Network here at Garden Fork. Anyway, I've been I've been thinking about this for a while. Like, you know, we have some friends coming over. You want to bake a cake, and you don't want to heat the house up. And I'm like, how can you do that cooking outside? And then I thought you could turn your Dutch oven into an outdoor oven. We've done some uh, baking in the Dutch oven before in some of our other camping out, cooking outdoors videos. Um, there's links for that below and at the end of the show. But I wanted to show you how to do it a different, slightly different way, and I kind of invented it, or maybe I didn't. All right. <laughs> or maybe I didn't. So what you need is a Dutch oven. This one I really like because it has a flat bottom and a flat top. So the coals can go right on here. If you have a curved lid Dutch oven like this, we need to get some coals on the top of that. So what we do is we make a charcoal ring like, like a, that. It's like a crown. And then the coals sit on the top. It's very cool. What's going on? chipmunk or something. Bicycle. All right, you can use any kind of, uh, what's that called? A flour? A quick bread. They're called quick breads. You know, like pound cake, banana bread, that kind of thing. This is uh, a variation on our uh, dump cake recipe here, but I have some flour and stuff. The recipe is going to be posted below and also on our website, and there's links to that below. So we have flour, salt, uh, baking powder in here. I'm going to add in some milk, a half a stick of butter, that should be cool, not hot, by the way. And then the fruit of your choice. Blueberries are in season right now, so this is about a cup of blueberries. Okay, we're gonna mix this together. Real simple batter. Nothing fancy here at Garden Fork. Safety second. Get a good cooking glove. Are these called cooking gloves? Mitts. I don't know, cooking mitt. But we're going to cook, just as a little work table that's heat proof, we're going to use the top of our grill here. And we just broke a ramekin. Hold on. Good thing I had my safety gloves on. All right, three ramekins. If you don't have ramekins, you can use rolled up balls of aluminum foil. But I like the ramekins, they're oven proof. So place these on your grill. You could also do this on a piece of cement or slate or in a fireproof area. And you have your fire. You can heat up about, uh, fire up about 20 charcoal briquettes. Uh, I like charcoal briquettes for this thing. Hardwood chunk charcoal is a little harder because it's not uniform in size and we want one layer of briquettes as you'll see here. So we take this and we spread it around. The key here is that the charcoal briquettes, briquettes do not touch the Dutch oven, okay? Because we're gonna we're gonna want to radiate heat around the Dutch oven. We're not gonna we don't want to saute or fry the cake batter. We just want to radiate heat around the Dutch oven itself, okay? So it can touch the ramekins and you. Yes. That's what you have the mitt for. Dutch oven, like that. So just balances on top. Yeah, it sits on the three, and again, the charcoal briquettes are not touching it. Okay. And then I have some uh, oil spray, because I like oil spray. Take our batter, pour it in. That's gonna cook? Yeah. Lid. These briquettes have cooked down a little bit, but they are hot. If you have a Dutch oven that has a sloped lid and the charcoal would just fall off it, take a piece of aluminum foil like that 
and then you can put the charcoal right on here and the ring keeps the charcoal from falling off the edge. If you don't have any ramekins and your Dutch oven doesn't have any little legs, just ball up some aluminum foil and this will sit right on there like that. How cool is that? Half hour. It's really cool because about 20 minutes it starts to smell like cake. The great outside. outdoors smells like cake. Yeah, blueberry cake is this. Alright, so this is it. It's really simple. It's just a layer of briquettes, ramekins or aluminum foil balls to hold it up, and then more briquettes on top. Okay? How much time has lapsed? I forgot to set the timer, but it smells like cake. It does smell There's like cake. There's steam coming out of the sides. You can't really see with the camera, but there's steam coming out of the sides. So with this kind of lid, I just turn to the side. Get the mosquitoes off me. Henry? Ready for the reveal? The reveal, yeah. I'm ready for the reveal. <gasps> All right, it's not quite done yet. No, but it does look like cake. That's pretty cool. Uh, another 10 minutes. All right, we had to supplement the charcoal because the I left the charcoal in the chimney too long and it kind of pooped out. But there you go. Wow, it looks very, very nice. Oh, nothing. That's done. Nice. There you go. I don't even see any blueberries in that. Well, the blueberries drop down to the bottom just because of gravity. This is hot. So I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna let this cool. I wonder if I can flip this out of here. Think I can? I think you can when it's cool, but not now. Oh, all right, let's see what happens. But here you go, baked outside. Your house is cool, my hand is starting to burn. <laughs> Put it down. As we said, the... Oh, well, it's a little burnt on the bottom. <laughs> As we said, it's burnt and the blue is at the bottom. Both. Well, most of the fruit goes on the bottom, so it, it can... Uh, gravity. You said gravity. Yeah, gravity. Not bad, huh? I don't know. Taste it. You tell us. That's pretty good. Even though it's burnt? I'm going to avoid the burnt part. <laughs> So you can do this. Um, the trick is to regulate the charcoal. Too hot is not good. We had this last thing. It was perfect. But perfect. It's um, you know, you need about 15 coals in the bottom, maybe 10 or 15 on the top. Don't let them let them in the chimney too long, or else they kind of burn out. But yeah, I'm good. If you watch on YouTube. Subscribe to our show. Free to subscribe, new shows every week. There's a list right here of other cooking shows, outdoor cooking, cast iron cooking. I heard you can't live without cake. I love cake. All right, more new stuff next week. Subscribe, recipe and links are below in the info section. Go out and do cool stuff. If you have any questions or comments, leave them right below here. I try and answer everything, okay? Use a timer. See you later.